my name is Quinlet. Warm greetings to everybody. I am a gospel musician. God bless you for the support you have shown towards this program. You have shown love to the late minister Osinachi. That is massive. God bless everybody. Please, people of Nigeria, help me send this message to the family of the late minister Osinachi Wanchuku that my family and myself, we have agreed to adopt their second son. We have agreed to adopt their second son. So please, they can contact us on our WhatsApp line at Quilit Music on Facebook. It is there. God bless everybody. Now, yesterday I was talking about the problems that children go through in abuse marriages, abusive marriages. When the gender minister visited the home of the late minister, Usinachi, she said something. She said their first son is 12 years and he is in class 5. He cannot read. This is dangerous. It is very pathetic. It is very serious. A 12 year son, 12 years boy cannot read and he is in class 5. So you see what I was talking about yesterday? The children become mentally retarded. They become traumatized. They cannot concentrate in school. And the problem doesn't end there. If they grow up, if they are boys, they abuse women. If they are girls, they end up in abusive marriages. Because they think what their mothers went through is normal. And we must rescue these children. We need to talk about this problem. Share this video. Let it go far as possible. Subscribe to our channel, Quinlet Music on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. The songs I sing, they are life for people. They heal people. I have already said it. I am not doing this for doing sick. I know what I have heard from God. The people who are watching me are critical thinkers. They are knowledgeable. They have a broad mind. And they know where I am heading towards. By the end of this series I am doing, we will save thousands. We will save millions. Stars will not die. If I say stars, you are one. Because you have something peculiar and unique in you. You will not die. You will live and bless this generation. Let's fight this fight together. Let's talk about this issue. Share the video. Let it go far as possible. Men, rise up. Women, rise up. Don't die in abusive marriages. If you are in a relationship, dating, preparing to get married, you go on dating, the woman is controlling your phone, asking questions. The man is controlling you, asking questions. Who called you? Where did you go? Why didn't you call me yesterday before you went to bed? It is an alarm. This is red light. The same before you enter into such marriage. You might be on your way into an abusive marriage. Children suffer. And these children, they need serious counseling. They need very serious counseling. It is very sad. Because the children will be premature adults in the family. They need to deal with their own stress, their own emotional stress. Because the woman or the man is also going through his or her own stress. Everybody is alone in that family. Don't sit there and die. Tell your pastors. Tell your sister. Tell your mother. Tell your father. Tell those friends. And don't tell them not to tell anybody. The message must come out. If you go out and you see somebody beating his or her child, report to the right authorities. If you see people beating their wives, their husbands, report to the right authorities. Sometimes, if you pop your nose in people's issues, you become the third person. But don't get tired of doing that. Let us be a brother's keeper. 
Don't get tired of doing that. Because you will save someone from dying. This thing must not happen again. This thing must not happen again. Don't be ashamed. It is not your fault. To have that child. That first, second, third child. With different fathers. With different mothers. You were in an abusive marriage. Your life is unique. You have something to do for this generation. Don't just die and go because you were not created for created uh, 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 sake. Get up, my fellow uh, women and men. Those of us who like like uh, uh, talking goss gossip about people who were in abusive marriages and for one or two reasons they left. You know that this person was in abusive marriage, but you go and say something different. I'm not talking about marriages that could last for different reasons. I'm talking about abusive marriages. They are afraid to, 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 be, to be mocked by people outside there. And they decide to die in that marriage. They decide to die in that marriage because of what somebody will say. There are so many families, they introduce marriages, okay? This family, child, male child, female child, and they, they make introduction. And such marriages, most of these marriages, hmm, there are issues. People in such marriages, they can never come out because it was introduced by both families. Queen Lit is calling you to come out today. Don't stay there. Even if the family will neglect you, you have God. Don't die in that family, in, in that abusive marriage because of your, what your father will say, because of what your mother will say. Some of uh, uh, our parents, the mothers and fathers, if your, your children are in, in abusive marriages and they tell you, you tell them to go back to, the, to that marriage because they'll bring shame to you. Which shame? They should go there and die so that their, their, their dead body will come to you instead of shame. Please, let us rise up. Get up. Let us stop those things. Shaming people who left abusive marriages. Let's think about the children. I'm on children today. What they go through. They are always in fear. They lose their self-esteem. They separate themselves from other children. Most of these children are very talented children. They are going to replace us when we are not here. Let us take care of them. Build them up. Don't die in an abusive marriage. Be it a man or woman. Let them say what they want to say. Society, please, let us rise up and help such people. Please share this video. Let it go as far as possible. Because today I know that a man will be saved, a woman will be saved. A child will be saved from a particular abusive marriage. Why are we afraid to talk about such issues? So many people are dead because of abusive marriages. The moment the issue comes, we will talk, we will talk, we will talk, and then who oh, we will leave it. Even if you, you take it upon yourself to talk about it, people are telling you to shut up. This is a very vital issue that must be addressed. And we all need to rise and talk about it. Abusive must stop in, ma uh, in marriages. Abuse must stop in marriages. God bless you. My name is Queen Litz. Follow us, subscribe to our channel, and the Lord 